Lightning flashed above the castle's tallest tower, with each flash lighting the path of the figure inside making their way to the top. The figure stepped up to the window and looked out over the castle, beyond the walls, out over the town, and the hills beyond it, and said, It is a fair dirty afternoon altogether. Jenny Mick, you catch your death in that. And pulled the shutters closed. The cloaked figure turned and with candle in hand made the way down the steps. Wouldn't you think that Egypt would have put in light bulbs around the place? The amount of times I've nearly fed here, I tell you. Oh, are heating! I mean, fine, I get it's castle, but like, you know, put on it all fire or something. I don't know, what do I know? I'm simply just the inhuman caretaker for the castle, for an undead vampire. The cloaked figure was soon in a hall making their way to the kitchen. I suppose himself be wanting a supper tea, even though it's past midnight. I don't kiss it myself at all. I mean, grandeur of empire, but why keep odd hours? Yeah, I'll pop the old kettle on anyway. Soon, the cloaked figure could feel a presence. Is that yourself, Tiz? Indeed, replied a voice from the shadows. Well, I'm telling you now. If you fly out of that darkness, Isabel, I'm going to wallop you. I'm afraid of bats, and well you know it. Oh, I wouldn't dream of harming you, my old friend. I'm just saying I'm sick of it, like. Now tell me. How is the weather? It must be perfect, you understand? Perfect! For my experiment, I need lightning! <laughs> Here will you calm down? Uh-oh. Yeah, it's lashing, thunder and lightning. So what is it you're up to? Well, uh... Hmm. This tea is lovely. I'm currently seeing if I can revive the dead. And why is that? Why? Why, because... Is you a vampire, like? You're already undead. Yes, I am. But my problem is I wish to commune with someone who's no longer living. And why is that? Why? Why? So many questions. I must away and all begin right, my work. All right, all right. Great tea, by the way. And the pale vampire walked away into the darkness of the castle. I don't know. Ah, well. I must give the leftovers from dinner to Rover. Here, Rover. Goodbye. Let's open your... <laughs> down, Rover, down! Goodbye. Here's your grub. Goodbye. Who's the best unspeakable horror? It's you. You are. Aww. We leave our cloaked friend to find our vampiric master at work in the lab. It is almost ready. Soon I'll have you back with me. Oh, how quickly we had met. And I feel bonded. Before cruel fate ripped you from me. But no more. For soon you will return to me. Yes, everything is perfect. I just have to pull the lever at the right time, and now! Electricity flowed through coils and down the rods, all down to a single small lump in the sheet. The vampire pulled the lever up, and the electricity stopped. Did it work? Are you... are you alive? The vampire pulled the sheet back to reveal a small fish bowl with a fish inside. The fish... Let out some bloops. Yes! Yes, you are alive! You're alive! Ha ha ha! Oh, fishy! It's been almost a day since you were gone, but here you are back once again. I have done it! Ah ha ha I have. Fishy? The bloops had stopped. Oh no! Dead again! How much more must this undead vampire suffer? <laughs> the door to the lab creaked open, and the cloaked figure stepped inside. Ah, oh, is your goldfish dead? Well, I told you this might happen, didn't I? Oh, come here. Oh, that's it. Give me a big old poke. That's it. You blow your nose. That's it. There you go. <laughs> How about this? How about I flush him down the toilet? And we go watch some telly. Yes. Thank you, old friend. That's probably for the best. But the good toilet, of course. Sure. The cloaked figure walked away with the goldfish in hand as the vampire sat in a very dramatic pose in their chair. Oh, fishy. Oh, oh, oh. oh.